Oh, what's up you guys? I'm not amazing, I'm just mediocre. Welcome back to the channel and this Apex Legends video. Today we're talking about Watson, the Static Defender. Now this is a legend with a very synergized toolkit. Each of her abilities links together, passing benefits onto each other, so that when used all combined, maximize Watson's potential to do her job, which is to set up a stronghold of defense to protect her team from enemy squads. Now really quick, before we get into the meat of this video, I've been enjoying a lot of Call of Duty Warzone and you'll be seeing me stream that game every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for the next couple of weeks trying to grind out that battle pass, but I'll still be keeping up with the Apex Legends content, including the Bloodhound Guide, which is coming soon. Now getting into the meat of Watson's abilities, she has her laser fence. Now when you press L1, you pull up your ability to place defense and you are defenseless while you have this active, so no weapons out. You press right trigger to deploy those fences. You can back out at any time by pressing triangle and then as you are done, you'll press this little animation and be ready to continue. There's also a heads-up display telling you more info on the fences. The four blue bars around the lightning bolts represent the four fences you can carry at a time. When you use one, the bar goes blank, but you'll see a small white bar filling up, letting you know when the next fence will be charged. The diamonds around that bar represent the amount of fences you can have. When you place a fence down, a diamond will fill with blue, and the empty diamonds represent how many more fences you can place, up to 12 at a time. When someone crosses your fence, you'll see this icon pop up on your screen. It's a little white man passing through the four fence lasers. And then you'll also see it marked on your map with this little bright blue circle pinging the location at which they crossed your fence. Now, if you place a fence on accident, you can pick up that fence and then have that back in your inventory and place it in a different location. You can also extend these fences a very far distance, and as long as you haven't closed off the fence, you can extend from the end of it, and then link the fences together to create a full circuit. Now the most obvious way to use these fences is to hold yourself up inside a building and use them as a deterrent. You don't exactly expect enemies to cross the fences getting stunned or damaged, but it does help prevent them from getting to where you are, and gives you a safe space to heal up and reload your weapons. You want to make sure you place them intelligently with the bases out of line of sight of the enemy. Notice how wide I've put these fences away from the doorway. And setting up your defenses in this fashion can really help you turn the tide in a previously unwinnable situation. You also want to get really good at getting in and out of this tactical quickly. Because like I said before, you're defenseless while you have the fences out. But they can make a big difference in a fight. The enemy can get stunned, and that also does 10 damage, and that makes a huge difference in a 1v1 situation. The stun slows them down and blurs their vision, and they're already even a little bit damaged, and now that gives you the upper hand. You can also use them on the way out of an area, moving from place to place across the map. If you come across a choke point, you can just lay out a series of fences to make a hard time for any enemies that are coming up behind you. These are more easily destructible with fence bases out in the open, but it can still slow them down and help get them caught up in the ring. I personally like to use them in an offensive way. If I know somebody's inside a building, I will place fences and cut off their exits. Especially if I know there's only three, I will cut off two, making sure the enemy only has one way out, and that way is right in to the barrel of my R301. And in certain situations, Watson fences can make excellent distractions. They're very bright and loud, and they attract attention. And if you're careful, you can bamboozle enemy teams into thinking you're somewhere where you're not, leaving them caught up in your web of Watson fences, which is especially hilarious during an endgame situation, because if they cross your fence, that's damage towards you, which then if they subsequently die to the ring, that's actually kills towards your kill count. And if this happens during a rank game, that can get you a hefty amount of free rank points. Now moving on to Watson's passive and ultimate, which work in concert with each other. 
Her passive is the ability to use an ultimate accelerant and gain a full charge up to 100% instantly. So you should always have an ultimate accelerant as a Watson in your backpack so you can have your ultimate ready at any time. And this ultimate is the Intercept Pylon. Now this device has three features. First, it will block all incoming thrown projectiles so that your Arc Stars, Thermites, and Grenades. It will also block a couple of Legend Ultimates. So the Gibraltar Barrage is blocked by the Watson Ultimate. The Bangalore Barrage is also blocked by Watson's Ultimate. Revenant Silence is blocked by Watson's Ultimate, as well as Caustic's Ultimate Grenade is blocked but his gas traps are not so you're gonna have to watch out for those gas traps now actually using the ultimate you'll notice two other features which is how this combines together into one large system first off you'll notice that the Watson ultimate slowly recharges anybody's shields who is close by so this does include you and any enemies that are close by as well second it also supercharges your Watson fence charge time your tactical charge time so instead of waiting 30 seconds for your next fence you're getting them every few seconds and this way with the ultimate active and you standing next to it you can set up intense fence mazes that are nearly impossible to penetrate and the buffs that this ultimate offers Watson and her team are why you should always have ultimate accelerants in your backpack as a Watson. So you can become a mobile fortress. You can place down an intercept pylon and protect your team from incoming throwables and other ultimates. Use an ultimate accelerant and have another intercept pylon ready for if your team decides they need to change positions and the situation is no longer ideal. You do have to watch out for cryptos, however. A crypto EMP will destroy all of your fences. However, it doesn't actually affect the ultimate. So if you put your ultimate down, feel free to fence back up after that drone has gone off. And it even feels your shields back up totally for free. No shield cells required. Then, if you even have another ultimate, you can keep going and just keep moving all the way across the battlefield, setting up fortress after fortress after fortress and preventing enemies from getting to you. And this way, you can even win entire games without having killed someone the entire game. And this works even better if you're uncontested. If you have the high ground and the circle is closing on you, feel free to set up fences all across that high ground on the edge of the cliffs to make sure nobody can climb up to get you. Take total control of the battlefield and make sure that you are in the best position for the final circle. So that way, when it does end up going down, you can be the team that comes out on top. Overall, Watson is a top-tier legend, especially in ranked mode, where using her intercept pylon in conjunction with her laser fences can help you take complete control of the lobby and get you easy champions without very much wear from yourself. Make sure you guys stick around for those live streams every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. In the meantime, I'm not amazing. I'm just mediocre, and I'm out.